working? We are live. Okay. Don't know where. 90 people. Leaving a thumbs up. All right, Hunter, you start us off. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do at the first, leave me a comment. Where are you from and where are you watching this from? And tell me your local lake because I travel a lot, fish a lot, and I want to he see, hear about these lakes that y'all fish that I have fished before or I might fish in the future. So where y'all at and what lakes do y'all normally fish? So let me know. I don't know. Yeah, can you hear? We have no idea. Square bill during the spawn. I use a balsa pre-spawn, and then as soon as the spawn starts, I really don't crank that much anymore. When I am in current, I usually do use plastic, though. I use the Lucky Craft LC 1.5 most of the time, and then pre-spawn, I do use balsa, you know, all in the winter and the fall. But after the spawn, I use plastic, but during the spawn, I really don't use square bill very often. Santee Cooper. That's what I'm talking about. Santee Cooper is the, the deal, man. I, I hope we get to go there in a couple weeks. I love that place. Got some Virginia, Smith Station, Lake Harden. That's what I'm talking about. That's a, my old stomping grounds. You follow? Yes, for sure. It was her idea, actually. We were together back then. What, will you take credit for that? Was that your idea? Yeah. <laughs> that, that was not that bad, actually. Ontario, Canada. Oh my goodness. So y'all, you're probably sitting on ice right now. I do. I do use flutes, but it's a very specific situation. Normally, I, so sometimes I'll just see them schooling or suspended fish and I'll just throw a fluke. It does have a different action in the water than most other baits, but I do use a, a, a fluke. Cards or fishing. That is easy. That is fishing for sure. You know, even whenever I play poker, I've been playing poker now since we're quarantined on the old interweb, but I always want to go fishing every day, all day. That's what I want to do. Yeah, they're blowing it up. I do not live in Cleveland. Coming to Lake Eufaula, as soon as they allow us, I'm ready to be turned loose on that place. There's no doubt, no doubt. We're coming to Eufaula as soon as they say tournament's on. That's where we're headed. So another thing I did not say, but I want to address every single person. So what we're going to do, I talked to the guys from Striker today. We're going to give away four Striker. Let me grab this shirt. Sun shirts. Probably not of this color, but the striker has a bunch of, you know, everybody knows them up north, especially for their cold weather gear, their ice fishing stuff, you know, their rain gear, all that stuff. What they're trying to do this year, the reason they're picking up some of us bass guys is they are trying to push some of the cool weather stuff, some neck gaiters, all that kind of stuff, some pants and shirts, stuff like that. So we're going to give away four shirts. I'm going to give two to two people. So two people are going to get a Triumph shirt and then another Sun shirt. And we're going to give two ways. So everybody that enters a comment is entered. And at the end of this live stream, I will figure out some way to pick y'all. We are, we don't know what we're doing really right now. But Dallas, Georgia, Lanier, what, what am I missing? Honey? Yeah, no, that's definitely something that I do um, sometimes. The, the thing, whenever they're moving up pre-spawn, a lot of times they're, they start to feed upwards more than down. So that's whenever I like that. Uh, swim jig to sit on top of their head and I shake it a ton but yeah whenever I'm fishing current or if I'm fishing you know some deeper dock or stuff like that I will throw a swim jig with just a you know a regular swim it on it skip it under a dock and just slow roll it. just like a, a spinnerbait or a chatterbait just a little more subtle so I do do both do I think chick will be better in the summer for me probably not but it, it will put out a lot of big weights I think March is about dead on for chick chick is a really good pre-spawn spawn lake so yeah, March have been really good, but in the summer, still going to be big weights called with some giant bass call. But for me in the summer, y'all know I don't like to get off the bank, so the summertime for me is a little tricky. Small lake about five miles from Rodman. I would be going to Rodman, unless it's up now. Let me know. Has, as Rodman came back up, Rodman was freaking awesome, man. I loved it down there. I wish we could have went there in the St. John's. I, I would have went over there, but I probably would not have caught a 10-pounder in Rodman. Play, favorite slow rolling spinnerbait. They're really – I don't really slow roll a spinnerbait very often. I, I did start playing with Lost River Lure Company spinnerbait this year. They had some painted blades, and I threw it, but I've been waking it back. I mean, reeling it fast. I don't really slow roll them a ton. Dadgum, when I get excited, yeah, everybody says I need to make a T-shirt that says Dadgum. I do say that way too much, way too much. Best fishing tips for Lake Lanier. So Lake Lanier for me is, is a very diverse place. There's usually staying in the backs of a lot of these pockets and there's crystal clear water down on the south end or in the middle of these creeks so i 
would say, if you go there, everybody should fish their strength. Everybody, you can do whatever you want to do there. There's plenty of large mouth, plenty of spots. You can catch them however you want to catch them. Just go there and fish how you want to fish. Right now, you better be looking at them because I heard they're spawning big time there. When am I coming to fish Gunnersville? I, I'm not a big fan of Gunnersville. So if we have a tournament there, I'll go. But Gunnersville seems to kick me in the teeth every time I go. What's going on? What are we doing? Okay, so pan optics. I did see a, a post on that. I will be getting forward-facing sonar of some type this year. I'm looking more towards the Hummingbird 360. Now, I will get that this year for sure. Before we go to one of these brush pile lakes like uh, or ledge lakes, I will have that. There's no doubt. Need some pics on these walls. West Point fishing tips. Go anywhere in the surrounding area besides West Point. Go mark in your GPS. Navigate to West Point and then exit off the list and never go back there again. I do not like West Point. I think I've never caught them good there. Almost never. I do fish the Coosa River. I have fished it up quite a bit. Not not a crazy amount. Not enough where I'm a local. And the thing about the Coosa is I fished the whole chain a lot. But I spend a lot of time on a little bit of time on every lake. So I've not fished any one lake on the Coosa enough to know it. But I know how the Coosa acts anyways. Am I how missing anything? So I kind of sample it all. I go there based on um, what time of year I have a preconception of where I think the fish are going to be. And then I will, you know, move around the lake, you know, to where I think, you know, if the fish are going to spawn, I'm going to look for hard bottom stuff right behind the transition. And, you know, based on clarity and stuff like that, too, if the, if the water's super clear, I don't want to be back on some super flat part of the lake. I'll go to the other side of the lake. So it, I just play it off of the lake, the structure, and then what time of the year it is. So I do it all. I do miss living in Cleveland. I, I did really like it there, right beside the Hawassi River, Chickamauga. Really cool area. I, Cleveland was super nice. Yeah, I, I enjoyed my time there. What do you throw muddy water pre spawn? Muddy water pre-spawn 58 to 60. Well, that would be a swim jig and a chatterbait and, and a jig for sure. So you can fish everything you need to with pretty much a jig and a chatterbait. So you can cover from two feet cover to 10 and the chatterbait, you can fish it all over the place too. So Jig and chatterbait, you better have those two pre-spawn in muddy water. What model blank is your frog rod? This is a seven foot six heavy fast point blank. And I put uh, a small amount of cork on it on both sides. Keep it super, super light. But yes, seven foot six heavy point blank with Fuji rod components. Okay, one bait always have to tie on probably a jig. For a long time, for like five years, I had a frog on the front deck for like all, even in winter in January, I had a frog on the front deck. But recently, I've been taking the frog off. In the, the, after it comes about November, December, I take the frog off until you follow. I mean, until I, I was reading the comment, it got me trapped up until I'm March. My favorite fisherman, I appreciate that. I do constantly, constantly. I never, I cannot fish. Like, I really cannot yeah, fish. I, I fish every single day, but still, I get out there and I just want to fish this some more. I can't he's, like, he's like, okay, we're going to go fishing and I'm going to let you catch some fish. And as soon as we get out there, he just takes over the front of the boat like the whole day. And I'm like, so that was a lot. I can't help it. I'm itching, man, when I'm out there. Best jig rod. Best jig rod. Right now I'm using, so I use a big jig and a small jig. I use a seven foot three medium heavy point blank for a small jig and a seven foot three heavy for a big flipping jig. So I have two, I usually have three uh, jig rods on the front deck at all times. The same seven foot three heavy is the same. I use a big flipping jig and a swim jig for both. Evans, I do need a drone. So if anybody out there wants to get me a drone. <laughs> yeah. I I've never thought the drone would, would benefit that much. I do see some pretty cool drone shots in other videos sometimes, but I mean, it's a lot of trouble, big investment for just like a second worth of, of video. You know, it's not that big of a deal. Stick Marsh Rodman Reservoir. There you go. I, I wanted to get to the Stick Marsh. I wasn't able to, but I, I really, really want to. What brand jigs do I use for flipping and swim jigs? I use Untamed Tackle. And if I'm going to cast a small jig around, I use a dirty jig. So I use it all. No, I'm not. I can talk like this all day. It don't bother me. Nothing. What is something non-fishing? That's for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it says about Kyle. It didn't say nothing about what about you. So you got to answer that one. Putting Hunter on the spot. It's been we've never been live on this channel. I've been live on some other channels, but not mine. Finesse flipping bait, hard to beat a speed crawl. Very hard to beat a speed crawl. 
The problem with the speed crawl, though, is it's got a lot of consistent action. So sometimes they don't want that, but speed crawl, very good. Least favorite place to fish? Deep, deep. I know that that's not a lake, but deep. Any lake that's deep. I've never had anything from Saudi custom bait and tackle. I got a friend of mine, Bass Quest. He uses their stuff religiously and catches big ones on it. I've never used anything from them. They were just on the other side of the lake, and I never got over there and checked them out too much. Yep, kindergarten. I have fished Lake Hartwell. That place is another lake that gets me. Everywhere that y'all fish beats my butt, man. Yep. A big lake like Chickamauga for a tournament. So you got to think about all these lakes are full of fish. There's fish everywhere. You can't go, you can't even go in a creek that there's no fish. There's fish loaded in all these lakes. So the best thing to do is find an area, break it down, make sure you understand what's happening in a certain area. You know, because if you try to comb too many areas, you might get all, you know, you might never get on the real thing, but find an area and you can catch the fish out of that area. What happened? Oh, okay. Got you. So the best what? rod and reel for the money, I would say the best reel going right now is the Shimano SLX. As far as rods, I'm not 100% sure. I don't really know what rods are, are cheap and good right now, but I do know the Shimano SLX right now beats everything at the $100 price point. What is your spotted bass PV and what is my PV? My spotted bass PV is a five pounder. Guess what? Caught it on a frog in a BFL. <laughs> I, I, I was fishing a brim bed, skipped a frog under a bush, caught a five pound spot on a frog, skied it to the boat. Everybody told me how hard spot spike. You put it on a seven foot six rod and 65 pound braid. They ain't got no choice but to come to the boat. So I shake my wrist a lot when I throw a swim jig specifically. When I'm throwing a regular jig or flipping jig, I don't. 254 heads in here. Yeah, that's more than I expected. What did you caught the 10 pounder on? So I caught it on a missile baits D bomb, ounce and a half weight, and I was punching grass. I actually penny warped mats on the edge of some current. So Miss Hunter's favorite soft plastic bait. What is that? Brush hog. Brush hog is a cool one to fish. So I do not have any set time on how long I have to wait to post a video after a tournament. But usually I just try to make sure that the tournament is completely over with. Nobody can get any info. And then I post my practice dates. So usually just whenever we get around to it. The YouTube is, we really enjoy doing it, but it's not a super priority. So the tournaments come first. And when you get around to it, we post the videos. So, MIPV is a 4.8. 4.8. Caught very, it. Very, very strong. Caught it on video, actually. Yeah. You plan on doing a collaboration with YouTubers? Have anyone you want to with besides Amazing Hunter? Yeah, you know, there's a lot of guys that fish a lot different than me, and that's who I'd really like to fish with. You know, some of the guys who are really good at fishing deep or we're really good at fishing offshore, and one guy I could learn a ton from is Bass Quest because he fishes way different than I do, and he targets huge fish. So, fishing, I fished with him some, and it's really cool to fish with guys like that. Hunter started a YouTube channel, actually. So I posted my first video today, and it's awful, but please subscribe to my channel. Yeah, so. It's Hunter Welsh. Yep, so Hunter started YouTube. She's going to do different stuff than I do. So I'm probably going to be all fishing stuff, and Hunter might show whatever else we do. We go scuba diving, snorkeling, you know, riding a bobsled down the hill. And you don't never know. Whatever we do, might go on her channel. So. We're like all the stuff that you don't do. Yep. Not fishing like the stuff like behind the scenes or anything the viewers can see. Yep. So give me some tips for my tournament at Watts Bar this weekend. What would you throw? Trick worm, Cinco, and be looking for them on bed. So get there shallow, find an isolated cover around spawn areas, throw a Cinco around to it, you know, flip a jig, get some heavier cover, maybe fish some docks or two, but find those that isolated stuff on the back of some of these pockets. Find some stumps, some rocks, throw a Cinco to it and drag it around. I would imagine. Some are pulling up trying to spawn right now. My channel is Hunter Welcher. Lake Blackshear. I have I've never even seen Lake Blackshear. Love that I wear J's when I fish. Yeah, that's what I was gonna read. Yeah, I I, just, I always like those shoes. Those ones in particular are very comfortable. I don't really care about shoes. I, I do I love shoes, but I don't care what brand they are used. I just like what's comfortable and I love those. I'm not going to cook on my channel because I'm actually <laughs> Yeah. The only thing I can cook is cereal. So if you like cereal, I can cook. If Hunter cooks on her channel, you're just gonna hear a smoke alarm going off for like 20 minutes straight. So you don't wanna we don't want that on video. What color do I like in dirty water? You know, I, I still use white in, in dirty water more than most people. Shad don't change color in water. I do use black and blue more, but you know, in dirty water, I still use white on most of my reaction baits. I will go to some chartreuse stuff like that. Yeah, 
When do I downsize my flipping bait? So that's whenever I'm fishing super shallow. If I'm fishing three to four foot deep or more, I'm always going to use a half ounce weight. Sometimes whenever they're up in super shallow bushes, I'll go down to a three eighths or even a quarter, whatever I'm fishing super shallow and want to go slow. But I usually don't downsize unless I'm fishing super shallow because I don't want it to slow me down. If anybody knows, I don't like being slowed down. So I like to keep that half ounce because it goes in fast. I know how it feels. I'm really in tune with it and I can go to the next tree really, really quickly. Fishing uphill, I'm not sure what that means. Wisconsin. I always wonder how people from Wisconsin, Ontario, California, how in the world did y'all find my YouTube channel? Because I have to have a small channel, so it's, it's always weird. What age did you get your first bass boat? So my dad has always had a boat my whole life. He had a, actually, if y'all have seen my brother Matt or my video where I fished against Matt or me fishing out of that aluminum boat whenever I'm home in Alabama, I've had that boat my entire life as my dad's. And whenever I was 10, 12 years old, I would take it out, you know, he would drop me off. I'd go fishing by myself in a 17 and a half foot Alumacraft with a 60 horsepower motor on it. So that was the boat I had in a 17 upgraded to a fiberglass boat and kept it until I got my Ranger. So that's what I have now. I've had three boats in my life and Matt is still fishing out of the Alumacraft. Send me some pictures today of him catching some big ones in it. So pretty cool. That boat's been around us for a long time. Alabama River tips for this Saturday. Holy ground areas. So Alabama River right now, they should be moving up the spawn big time. Same thing I said in the other one, but Alabama River, I'd be skipping a frog and a swim jig around a lot of that grass and over overcuts, and then be looking for them on bed as well, but trying to pick off them big pre-spawners in that grass, edge that grass, under something mother cut. So, what is your favorite frog? Frog, you know, the frog color to me is not super, super important. I kind of get a bunch of them. If I had to just pick one frog for the rest of my life, I'd probably get straight black. So I do think black shows up a little bit better in more conditions. So that's the thing is I want them to fish to be able to see the bait as much as possible. So I would choose black because I think it shows up the best. How excited I'm out to go back to Santee Cooper. You know, that was a, a lake where I had a super good practice, super good first day, caught a ton of fish. Second day, I only caught five keepers all day. Now I had 23 pounds and I lost my biggest bite. I lost the seven or eight pounder. But Santee Cooper's not an easy lake to catch a limit on every day. So the further we get after the spawn, the less of them are shallow, the harder it's going to be on me. So if we go to Santee, I'm ready to go right now. Let's go over there and pick some off on bed. You know, everybody's journey is different. So you don't want to judge yourself based on how other people have done it as far as like people who have came out of college and went just whenever you're ready. You need to transition from college to the Opens or the Costa Series or the Toyota Series, whatever you want to call it now. And then after that, you, you'll get a pretty good gauge very quickly on if you're good enough to be at the Elites or the FOW Tour side. So you just need to transition as quickly as you can. Whenever you're ready, you don't want to, like, you know, go completely broke on the Opens too early. But whenever you're ready, you need to go to the Opens, and that's when you'll get your first test because those guys ain't playing in the Opens. So on the elites this year, I, I just want to make the classic. If I could have two or three, two or three more top tens, that'd be amazing. But the goal right now is just try to make the dang classic. Which site and states do you grind? Can you still use hoods? You cannot use hoods on what I'm uh, playing on. I think there is a third party way to do it, but I, I've been playing on Global Poker recently. But I have an app on my phone where I have been playing on actually for the past little while. So that the phone app is. A little different than most online sites, but I've been playing on global poker for the most part, just small stakes and stuff. Hunter's getting some subscribers. That's what we're talking about. We appreciate it, y'all. Tennessee fishing been rough. Yeah, you, Tennessee's a very strange place to fish. There's a lot of topography changes, so a lot of these lakes are way different from other ones. So just fish your strengths. The fish are shallow right now, so get up there, six foot or less, and fish how you want to fish. Wheeler in May, i tell you what I'd be throwing is about that long and he floats on the surface. Be looking for brim beds, mayflies, there's probably still going to be some fry garters. Shad spawn should be picking up, so stay shallow on Wheeler in May. I'm telling you, that swim jig and frog on shad spawn can play, and after that, go looking for bugs. All right, this one's for you. How bad did you feel whenever you lost that giant on Rodman? Um, I felt pretty bad, but Paul made me feel better about it because he said it wasn't during a tournament <laughs> and it wasn't his fault, so he wasn't that mad about it. You ever really catch them in the upstate of SC? And we didn't lose it. It was just a catch and release. There you go. It was a very quick catch and release. 
coming back to Table Rock, what's it like to be on the newest great thing? Auburn. Oh, the newest great thing at least. I don't know if I'm that or not, but I would like to come back to Table Rock. I hope we get to go there on the schedule. Super cool place to fish. That's an awesome lake. I absolutely love that place. I hope we go there pre-spawn or spawn because I don't really like going there in the post-spawn. <clears throat> Row tie or eagle. So we're split on that. Was more finesse, and now he turns the trail on six and cover of water. That's what I'm talking about. So I get used to that and put that sucker on 10, and you'll be right there with me. No, I'm just kidding. 10 10's overkill, but I do find myself on it a lot. Funniest fishing story. Well, to me, the funniest thing, I still watch it cracks me up when an Asian carp jumps straight in my freaking lap. So me and my little brothers were fishing. I was a boat catcher for them on the high school championship on Kentucky Lake, and an Asian carp literally jump, jumped in my lap. That video is on my channel. That's the funniest story for me. I'm also on TikTok as <laughs> Hunter Brook. No, it's Hunter Brook 1300. So look out. Hunter's out here. Hunter's out here working, man, trying to plug all her stuff. I hear you. Hunting outside of fishing. So I like to do anything. I like to do all kinds of stuff. I like to do anything that is competitive and outside and is pretty much for me. That beats me. Yeah, you think you think I beat her at? Well, and there I, I do. something I beat you at. I, I do like to play poker it. as well. I do play poker a lot. Was able to fish chick USA Bass April, but they moved at the beginning of November. November is not bad, not bad at all. Chick in November, you there's gonna be some good grass bites happening there in November. You ever play at Tunica, Biloxi, or Cherokee? Yes, yes, I've played at all three of those. I like Cherokee the best. Biloxi, I've got some good friends in Biloxi. I know all the people down there. But, are you running lithiums or lead after batteries? Actually, the batteries. <laughs> right now, the batteries I got are straight ever starts from Walmart. Not a problem. They They've been holding them. up. So all the AGMs, Walmart ever starts, three hundred dollars for the whole boat. <laughs> there you go. Team up and go be SB fishing at his local John boat tournament in Virginia. You tell SB he don't want none of this. He don't want he don't want me coming up there and getting in a John boat and going out there on uh, the. What was that place called? I can't remember what it's called, but I want to go up there and fish that place with him. That's an awesome place to fish, wherever that place is called that he fishes. We do want to fish from a kayak. I want to say kayak. Huh? Yep. For sure this year. Hunter's been wanting to kayak fish for a long time. So we got, we're going to have to do that. Our, our buddies at Summerlin Outdoors, they've got a bunch of kayaks that me and Hunter can go demo and go to the local lakes. So on the summer, we will be doing that. We have been to Lake Erie, but we have. We didn't fish it. We walked to it and looked at it for a while. Waves were huge that day. I was not putting the boat in up there on the lake. I didn't know. Crazy. Favorite lake in Kentucky. There ain't one of my favorites in Kentucky. I've been to Kentucky Lake twice as well. Another lake that has beat my tail. Other than that, never been to Kentucky. It says, well, you target small <clears throat> mouth or large mouth. The St. Lawrence goes. The plan. Oh, I, I, I can tell you. The plan is small the mouth. The plan is small mouth, and he's going to practice for small mouth for about three days. And then the first day of the tournament, he's going to come in and he's going to be like, oh, uh, yeah, I just fish for large mouth. Well, if I, if I can't catch them, I'll just have to go fish for large mouth. Been running them ever starts most of my life. That's what I'm talking about. I'm sure mine are going to die quickly, soon. But right now, they're holding up. They're rolling out some basketball. I have not. I rode beside them. But that was for not very long. They usually are gone, you know, as soon as you figure out what kind of boat's beside you. Paddling sucks. Trolling water is way better. Yeah, there's no doubt. Tra paddling does suck. That's why I'm going to put in up in the creek somewhere. There's current and I can drift down. Someplace we couldn't get a boat. Thanks for keeping your channel clean. Good or more role model for young anglers. I appreciate that. That's what I try to do. But everybody enjoy the videos. Like here is a beast. I've heard it is a beast for smallmouth for sure. Aquaquan, that's what it's called for sure. Gear ratio for chatterbaits, spinnerbaits. I use a 6.4 to 1 for chatterbaits. Spinnerbaits and chatterbaits, old Shimano Corrado E50. Kenny B with Tank Talk Live, is what I'm talking about. How are you keeping your boat in nice shape? Well, it's right <clears> on <throat> video. <laughs> no, no I, I don't. I've been fishing that boat for a, for a lot. So having the power poles, you can do a lot of things. So almost any time you're close enough to hit something, you can drop the power poles and just stop the boat. Same thing when you get around docks. You drop your power poles down. It just protects your motor and everything from hitting. The power poles can take a beating. But, yeah, I, the boat is wrapped. You know, it, it stays in pretty good shape. I have hunted. I, I used to be actually pretty hardcore hunter whenever I was, like, 14 or 15. Now, I wouldn't say super hardcore. I really like to bow hunt. Now, I don't like sitting still. I don't, I don't like it anymore for whatever reason. You don't want anybody to know. Well, it's hard to have a tip whenever y'all just watch me smashing them with it sometimes. It really, the biggest thing for swim jig is put it places other people can't throw it 
and get it in there with no splash. And then when the fish see it, they come unglued on it. It's so much fun to throw. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I've never, if you see me anywhere, just say, let me feel that seven foot three medium heavy. It'll blow your mind. It's, it's actually unbelievable. I can't even hardly believe it. How many troll motors have you burned up? Well, not brand specific. I have had to burn up, change or rewire troll motors a bunch. I'm talking about a lot. And I'm talking about every brand. They don't last long enough. Not whenever you got it on 10 for 300 days a year. I don't fish 300 days, but a lot. So fishing is his passion. No doubt fishing is my passion. There's no doubt. I, I love it every single day. So what time of year does the bite really slow down in the shallow? Now I would say right after they spawn. It gets really, really tough. But there's brim beds, shad spawn, and in the summertime there's mayflies. So you can always catch some shallow, but it does slow down as soon as they come off bed. You better be in some current or around some bait if you want to keep catching them. We met in kindergarten. We did. We met in kindergarten. So how long do I normally give a spot area without a bite? I believe if you're not getting a bite every 15 or 20 minutes, you're not doing the right thing. Somewhere on the lake, they're biting better. So I don't waste a lot of time, especially in a tournament. In practice, I might waste two or three hours in an area. You ever worry about giving away too much info on your videos? I'm not. I believe fishing is a game of making constant decisions. And whoever makes the most good decisions in a row is going to be the best fisherman. So you watch my videos and try to go emulate what I'm doing, you're always going to be a step behind me. So I don't really worry about giving away too much info. That is another reason though I always fish shallow. On Chickamauga, I had some really good brush piles and rock piles. I wouldn't fish them on video because y'all be out there trying to figure out where I'm at. Now I understand that. But so anyways. She's a lucky one. I don't know what y'all talking about. She's lucky. She gets right around in my boat all the time. Hard time bed fishing, something like you really know what you're doing. Any tips? Yeah, go spend your time doing it. Go well, get go get where you can see them. Now we ain't talking about that. So <laughs> go get where you can see the bed fish and just spend the time, you know, trying to catch them. You know, be around the fish, watch how they react, watch how everything unfolds, where, where the fish moves to. Just be completely focused on what you're doing. Actually, I caught six or seven off bed today. It was a blast. So go out there, just spend your time bed fishing. You'll learn. Would you fish with your YouTube fans on your off tournament time? Definitely some of them. Definitely some of them. But I, I can't show you all my good honey holes, though. So I got to take you all to the bee holes. <laughs> That's what the owner says. I don't ever take her to the A-plus holes. She always goes to the bad spots. Do more videos of your Elite Series events. I'm going to it whenever we get to happen. go to them. So Bass is doing what they should be doing, taking all the necessary precautions. But as soon as we get to go, I'll be posting for sure. Do you guide? I do not. I do not guide. I've thought about it a lot, but I don't want to watch y'all catch them. I want to catch them. I want to catch them myself. Dirty water. I've caught a 30, I think it was like 30 and a half, but caught a bunch of 24 and 25 pound bags. But dirty water, any tilts for spawn in muddy water? Yeah. Creature bait, pitch it anywhere you think that'd be a bed and just drag it. You're not going to catch every single fish that's on a bed, but over the course of the day, you'll drag in front of a few that are on bed and biting. So take a lightweight creature bait and just drag it anywhere it looks like they should spawn. Top fishing deals, basically what top, do I like fishing small mouth? Well, I do. I do, yes. But top fishing deals, basically what they do is they take all the sale items on the internet, what, no matter where it's from, whatever your normal site you go to, they take all the sale items and put it on one website where you can go in there and see all the for sale fishing stuff on the entire internet. So Top Fishing Deals is, is giving y'all a huge shortcut. So you just got to go to their website and see all the sale items. So tell this all the time, but check out K9K Elite Swim Jigs. You will fall in love. Hand-painted head, skirt colors, nobody offers. I, I appreciate that. I will check them out. I'm sure everybody's got their jigs they really, really believe in. Un the Untamed one I'm throwing now has an owner jungle hook in it big beast of a hook so been throwing it i like it pretty good so far favorite rod you can buy man i don't really like that many of them that's why i build my own so i didn't reminds me of joe exotic that's crazy i watched that last night i, I like he say you did? Yeah, i don't know he just said it reminds me of joe exotic <laughs> oh that's crazy I've that all day. I, that's I the craziest show i've ever yeah, I told Hunter last night, I said, this crazy dude got three better husbands than all your friends. <laughs> so, yeah, that was, 
that crazy Joe had three better husbands than all your friends. Yeah, that's crazy. Cause he had got good dudes. They was all like ride or dies. Prefer to build your own runs. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Spawning spotted bass. They spawn deeper than you think. I'm telling you, they spawn deeper than you think. They really like pea gravel. Same thing with smallmouth. And they spawn pretty deep. Do you know where's Croatia? That was like eight <laughs> comments in a row. If you could take a fishing ability from another pro, what technique would you pick? So it would have to be somebody that's uh, just a savant at offshore fishing. You know, one, one of the guys, like uh, any of the guys that are just super good at fishing offshore. Now, I would take that for sure. That's the one deal I am missing. I do prefer to build my own rods, and I use point blank rods. That's the, the ones I use. I, I like them. They're super light. They're super sensitive. So I do like to build my own rod. There, it's really, really cool to be able to catch a fish on a rod that you build, especially a 10 pounder in an elite event. That's even better. Love your videos, 15 Bros 31, our YouTube channel. You inspired us. Can you shout us out? Keep it real outdoors. So I appreciate y'all watching. Keep it up, man. Favorite jerk bait. So I used to only throw the Lucky Craft Pointer SP. Now I've been throwing the Mega Bass a lot. I've actually been throwing an Opto, uh, I, I'm a Flit one, whatever you call that one, and then a bunch of stuff. So uh, the main one I, I'm throwing, though, is the Mega Bass and the Lucky Craft Pointer SP. Favorite swim jig trailer. I change that constantly based on clarity, depth, and speed I want to go. I can use everything from a big super speed crawl, packer chunk, small speed crawl, uh, swim bait, whatever it takes. I'll, I'll use it all. So everything how much do you spend on tackle per year yeah. let me plug her because i can't say a lot a whole bunch a bunch it costs a lot to travel to it does says, who's the, other than yourself who's the best in fishing i would not say myself okay. but uh i gotta give a shout out to old wheeler and uh brian thrift but i definitely think wheeler right now is probably the best going for sure you have to start all over what would you change what is that i don't know what that <laughs> If I had to point it out on a map, I might disappoint a lot of y'all. It's crazy. The normal term must be a struggle for you on the elite trail this year. I do think that I'm really, I'm really concerned about that. And it's not because it's not because I don't think I'll be able to catch fish. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find those four and a half pounders, which is very important up there. You gotta have four and a half pounders, small mountain. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that. There's yeah. big swim baits. Not Hunter work. Yes, I work. I work in there. That's about it. Does Kyle ever fish big swim baits? I do if you consider six inches big. I don't put anything bigger than that. Um, four to six inch swim baits going with them. XXL shirt for the giveaway. We got to pick somebody to give away what? four striker shirts. What? We don't know what size. Loaded out so fast. City mile per hour to 51. Whatever you use. Uh, that's not a Phoenix I've ever so seen, fast. but okay. Most Phoenixes won't do that. Find accommodation for a tournament. It is tough depending on where you go. So, a lot of times, the best fishing lakes. Are not close to big cities, so we don't have a lot of stuff, a lot of hotels and restaurants close by. Yeah, let's do that. Everybody did the, the hand up if you want a shirt. The hand up emoji like this if you want the shirt. Everybody wants a shirt. Everybody comments might win a shirt. That's not, the deal. Not the thumbs up, the hand up. Like this. How do your poker skills translate into fishing? It just helps me be more analytical in everything that I do. So I try to make decisions not based off of my own you know vices or my emotion i try to make decisions based on you know what should actually be happening right now how do you run 70 miles per hour loaded 80 I, yeah i mean i'm not saying it won't go 80 i'm just saying that i know a lot of guys with phoenixes and theirs won't go 80. No, exactly. see no more no more questions now we just got okay a bunch okay, of, okay 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 with bunch the hands of, up bunch of hands up going on okay how much does it cost for you to make a rod? So getting started is the hardest part. You got to get the epoxy. You got to get all that stuff. And that's going to be a few hundred bucks for everything that you need. But that'll last for a bunch of rods. As far as the point blanks, I think the blanks are like $175 a piece. And the guys can cost, you know, up to a hundred bucks if you want to use titanium. So you're talking about you could have a very expensive rod. But of course, you can cut corners wherever you want to. Top destinations for a dream fishing trip. I'd really like to go catch peacock bass in the Amazon or go down there to Mexico and just knock the crap out of some seven, eight pounders flipping. That would be awesome. Can you do a video to locate bass in deep areas using your bass? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to, but I don't even know how to do that myself. So if somebody else can do a video, I would dang sure watch it. Where can I get point blank? So Mudhole has them. Um, 
Jan's Netcraft has them. A lot of places have them all on the internet that sells all that kind of stuff. So, you know, you can get them at any kind of a retailer. I don't get bid outdoors might have, them. I'm not a hundred percent sure when it come into in NC. So scheduled right now for April 16th, we'll see, or is that that's SC. So I don't think we're coming to North Carolina this year. You're seeing the movie rounders. I have seen the movie rounders and I have not played poker with any elites. I would like to, I wouldn't mind, we went me another boat along the way here and there. Do you have any YouTube videos from the past that you deleted because they were too cringy? No, I left them all out there. They're pretty bad. Cringe and all. They're pretty bad. What's your opinion on the best bet on the market today and color? You know, that's hard to say. Uh, I'm telling you, if I only had one bait to throw all year, it would be a dang Cinco. I ain't bad about that. I don't want to sell rods too much. I would sell some if someone had to twist my arm, but for the most part, I don't really want to do that. I, I will get burnt out on it, so I don't want to do that too much. I feel like MHX blanks, never used one for more than a minute or two. You know, I've got people that have built a rod on MHX blanks that feel great. I've just, I've never used one too much. We can't get a hunter versus house challenge because he will not get out of the front of the boat, so it's unfair. Yeah, that, it would be unfair. I'd be done, kicked her out. You always try to find current. I do, unless they're spawning. So I, current, I always say current is like bacon. It never hurt anything. You add a little bit of current, you catch more fish. So I for sure do always try to find current. I do. So we think about the jack hammer. I like the jack hammer. Uh, I'm not a huge fan on the hook in it, but I do like the jack hammer. I've got a box full of them. I want to give an air, particularly Santee Cooper. Santee Cooper is tough because it is a tougher place to fish. So many cypress trees. If you get just kind of on the wrong track, just a little, you can waste a lot of time because, that, you know, you're just not on the dead best cypress trees. So you got to move around a ton on Santa Cooper. There's so much cover. You better be covering water because when you get in an area, usually the bass are there. Hunter will sell your rods. If she can build them, Someone she can, can show them. Sell them. The you can get this at yep. Striker. Striker sells them. Good interview on Herb Arcees. So I went there today. Went there today and caught them pretty dang good. How have you figured Florida out so well to not be a Florida guy? I have not figured Florida out. I don't know nothing. I've only fished down there three tournaments, and I just got lucky, really. I mean, I caught a, a 10-pounder. That goes a long way in Florida. So I'm not anyway dialed in on what's going on in Florida. Are you fan of 6 cents? I do like what 6 cents doing. I think they got some great baits. You know, I think they are pretty revolutionary. So I do like what 6 cents is doing. Go out there and practice and not fish what you're not comfortable with. How hard is it for you to just go out during a practice and not fish what you are comfortable with, but what you're not? I do that all the time. I do that in practice a ton. Whenever you see me like check in and vlog like in the morning, and then you see me check in again at like noon, I was probably fishing something I'm not super good at because that's what I usually do. I just, I do it a lot. I don't catch a lot doing it. <clears throat> yeah, untamed tackle white swim jigs. Didn't see that question, but I do not have any fire crawl jet cameras. I was actually in the process of getting a few custom made Whenever that classic was, you know, they would smash them on that thing. So you I've got some. Out soon. I do. Yes. But we're going to also try to stockpile some. What blanks do you use for your rods? I use point blank blanks. Do you have anything against MLF BPT? Would you fish it if invited to qualify for it in the future? I don't have anything against MLF and BPT. I think they're a great organization. I think they are like-minded people that are trying to do better for the bass fishing industry. Have no problems in it. A sponsor that you would want in the future you know i don't have any soft plastic sponsors so i would like to get one of those that i you know really really believe in favorite deep crank bait 15 20 foot i have no idea like i no <laughs> absolutely not he says this is what he says he says what's mine is yours so like all of his rods are mine but it, he kind of seems selfish with them so <laughs> so what do i think on the Guggen squad you know i have i have no ill feelings to the Guggen squad they get a lot of hate um they started first. Would I be doing this without them? I don't know for sure. I mean, they were the revolutionary as far as, you know, bass fishing goes. So, I mean, I have no hate on for that. Are they the best fishermen in the world? No, but they are some of the most famous and some of the most influential right now. So not a problem at all. How's the rod building going? It is going very well. I've got like 25 of them built and I'm in love with every single one of them. They're going for 30 to 50. The fire, I guess that you're talking about the fire crawl jack hammers. I have seen that as well. They are going for a big amount of money. I do not have a striker clo clothing discount. I do not. 
big bike bait sponsors. Yeah. I've talked to the owner of him a few times, never about a sponsorship, but I, I've fished you follow quite a bit. When you come into Lake Erie fishing, supposed to be the end of this year, the end of this summer, Kyle, I have, I fished with him actually on Chickamauga whenever I had like, I don't know, 11 subscribers or something. Fishing full time for a living, is there more pressure to win or gain sponsorships? You know, not really. Uh, there is a pressure to get the sponsors, but as far as win, you know, you know, it, the guys you're fishing against are so good. It's so hard to win. So whenever it happens, you just got to enjoy it. I'm not, there's not any pressure to make it happen. Do you like big bite baits? I do. Feeling tips for fishing videos. What's your setup? I wouldn't go on what I do because I don't know what the heck's going on, but I just wear a chesty and a dash cam usually. And I have two GoPros running all the time. So favorite jerk bait, I answered that a while ago, but it is a Lucky Craft Pointer SP is the one I throw the most. Gear ratio for frog fishing as fast as you can go. Eight to one is what I'm using right now. How much would it cost to build one of your rods for one of us fans? A lot, a lot, lot. We're talking about like NRX price range. Think about Rayburn, never been to Rayburn, but uh, would like to go there. It looks like a really cool place to fish. I would love to go there. Speed talking contest. See, a lot of people say that I talk too fast. They can't understand me, but... I don't know. That's just how I how I've always done it. So, do you like wind when fish are not pins? Today I was trying to sight fish and there's pollen everywhere. So the wind, a little bit of wind, actually helps blow the pollen out. But you, you know, if too much wind you can't see. So today was definitely too much wind. How long it take to make a rod? I probably got two hours, two and a half hours in a rod. But I take a lot of breaks. So I would say if I sit down and just tried to pound it out, I could probably do a rod an hour and forty five, something like that, and get everything done. But it, you know, it takes a while to dry. Banana superstition, I have no superstitions at all. I like to be very comfortable as far as my clothes go and stuff like that, but I have no superstitions. Favorite hook, it's got to be a Trocar TK 135 ball, flipping hook. That's my favorite thing to do. <clears throat> Drive to come meet me in Hunter. We're coming, the elites, I think the elites are going to Erie, right? So we'll be up there for the elites. You can build quality rods for 120 bucks. You can build a rod better than anything you buy on the shelf. I mean, that's just honestly. What are doing chicken in October? Follow them spooling bass around. Throw some top water to them for sure. So getting big back sponsors. Hunter being friends with Laura and Foshi. Maybe. Yeah. That might be it. Earliest frog bite in Tennessee. You know, I've caught them on a frog in super cold water, even in like January. I've caught them on a frog, you know, early in the year. The question is, when is it an actual good thing to throw over another bait? So whenever I'm catching them in January on a frog, there's almost always a bait that would catch them better. So you know, the frog, you can get bites on it all the time. You're just not going to get bites on it better than all the other baits. So it's not like a good thing to be throwing. Favorite color on soft plastics. I keep two colors in my boat, black and blue and green pumpkin. That is pretty much it. I mean, that's seriously it. I've got June bug Cinco's. That's the only variation I've got. I spent a ton of time. How do you prepare for a tournament before going to a lake? I spent a ton of time on Google Earth. I'm talking about hours on Google Earth, scanning, trying to figure out the way things look, the way that, you know, certain places that keep stain. Man-made structure, anything like that. But I see you and Slendel fish together. Yep, that'd be that'd be a fun day for sure. Come to Biloxi. If I come to Biloxi, well, right now I wouldn't have no choice but to fish. But if I go to Biloxi, it ain't for fishing. Yeah, they're all they're all close. You like cutting point over needle point. You know, for whatever reason, the Trocar TK130. I just feel like I've lost less fish flipping with that one than I have on any other flipping bait. So. If the bite is absolutely tough, what bait would you stick to and keep throwing? Depends on the time of the year for sure, but I would say number one would be a Cinco, period. Prepare for a turn for get to the lake. That's Google Earth is the main deal, the main, main deal. Making rods, two hours. Last time I fished, we dowed. It's probably been three or four years now. I mean, it's been a long time. How tough is living on the road? I enjoy it. It might be a little bit more of a cramp whenever I'm have kids or whatever, but right now, I really, really like it. So, what are you laughing at? Baby after a bait order. Oh, gosh. Oh, my. No, nah, that ain't happening. Maybe like a, I don't know, spro. <laughs> that ain't a bait. I don't got a clue. Well, you come up with a better one then. You got a better one? Worm. There you go. You protect the hooks. I actually take the hooks off most of the time whenever I'm pre fishing. He said, You protect the hooks. I take most of the hooks off and use a screw lock. When fishing in the wind, you prefer the windblown banks or the more constant lake, nine count coast. I like the windblown banks unless specifically they're on bed for whatever reason. Do seven off. Usually, usually. So usually you do, but you know, sometimes late at night, you know, one too many drinks, you might raise with it every now and then. I enjoy fishing way more than poker. There's no doubt about it. <clears throat> you your yeah. Yep. 
So punch rate setup for grass, pre-spawn, I like to use a punch skirt, one, one and a half ounce tungsten weight, and then a five alt trocar TK 130. It's under getting bored, you should do live more often, almost 300 if I, cut, if I cut my hair, Kyle will get mad at me. Well, Hunter, are you getting bored is the question. No. Favorite season to fish right now, when they're on bed, that's what I like. I love bed fishing. Does Hunter have a sister? No. Oh, At some point, you get a, get a rod sponsorship. Maybe, but right now, point blank is the rod sponsorship, and that's what I want to use. I will definitely miss using my custom-made rods. I don't know if I could ever go away from it now. Like, really, after using my rods, I really don't think I could go back to using, you know, the mass-produced rods. Clothing line in the future, I do not think so. Favorite flipping jig. Whenever I'm actually flipping heavy cover, I use a Texas rig almost all the time. But, you know, I use a, a lot of the, like, Untamed Tackle has an eviction jig. Big, huge jig with a giant 5 volt, you know, owner jungle hook in it. So, everything. That's what I like to flip with and heavy, heavy cover. But I don't usually flip a jig too much. I usually cast a jig or swim a jig or else I flip with a text trick. What do you want a real spawn? Uh, if it was Shimano, yeah, that'd be the only one. Point blank rods have a different. So, all blanks are rolled and then taped with a and then put in the oven. Well, point blank has developed a way to tape it differently and put it in an oven to where the resin actually turns harder. So what you have is you have a more sensitive rod that can be lighter because it can be thinner. So point blanks are lighter than every other rod I've ever seen. When are you going to be back on Chick doing a video? Hopefully, hopefully very, very soon for a Bass Master Elite Series tournament. What's the baddest fish you ever had in Hobart? Well, I know mine. I can't, you know, I really cannot remember. I have lost, I've, I've lost with aces full of kings. I have. I've lost with aces full of kings to quad aces before, but I've lost, that's I've lost with actually I folded aces, that hand. Aces full of kings to quad kings. Yep, that's tough. I've uh, I don't know. I seem to always have the quads against the guy with the full house. So I don't know. I'm I'm lucky. Never fished in Ohio. From everybody I've heard, you got to avoid Ohio at all costs. Everybody tells me do not go to Ohio. It's tough. But I like fishing tough water. I like fishing rivers. So Ohio will be cool for me. Hunter's biggest fish. What is it? Four eight off the Great Chickamauga. Where I want to live, Ocala, Florida is where we look at the most. I do like it. I play sometimes, but I'm not very good. I just play for fun. So Chick has been getting that much pressure for years. The biggest, best thing to do. His question for y'all that maybe not be reading along. With all the pressure, what is your advice? So on Chickamauga, stay ahead of the fish. The fish move, and there's tons of fish in Chick, so they move. And then you want to be the first one to figure out where they went. So if they're moving up spawn, you better be the first one to find them. They're moving down the ledges, you got to be the first one to find them because everybody else is going to find them soon. What's that great name? <laughs> oh, man, you've been watching for a long time. That was actually a beep. Hi, Brandshaw, thank you so much for um, blowing up my TikTok. I'll see you guys. Aluminum fiberglass. I like fiberglass just for the, the better ride. Some aluminum boats now are picking up and getting some really good rides, but I can put my fiberglass boat almost as shallow as any aluminum boat. The best, the biggest issue is the outboard motor. So that's the problem that we come with is the 500 pounds of engine on the back. It's making the boat squat. It's not really about the whole material. What's your favorite barbecue? He loves barbecue. I love that barbecue. Is his favorite I do food. love barbecue. There was actually a place in Oak Lake, Alabama. What was it called? Papa Joe's? Mm -hmm. I used to love that place. Yeah, it's closed now. It's not there anymore. Best Texas Hold'em hand ever. I made I made a Royal Flush. I made Royal Flushes before. So that's the best one possible. And I've made it. Oh, my favorite hand is 9-7 of clubs. 9-7 of clubs is my favorite hand. Jig and spoon. You can get some big ones on that one. I've never, I have used a jig and spoon. But, I mean, I've never used it too much. But I, I, I have used it before and caught them schooled up on it. On some points and some saddles and stuff. But never, it's not like a staple in my box or nothing like that. You follow tips for this time of year. We got to hold off on the you follow tips. They're so, gonna, uh, man, I have to take you out my fancy fishing pick if you don't give it up on that crankbait. <laughs> I understand. I do understand. Well, they don't bite that thing no more. So just, just, un just trust me whenever I say they'll never bite that bait again. It's no good anymore. So don't worry about it. No, it was a DT four. To be honest with you, your fish Pickwick. Since you're so close, never been a Pickwick before. Never have ever. So. I mean, I'm sure it's a good lake. I know it's a good lake, and I'm sure I can go up there and catch them the way I want to catch them. I've just never been up there. I want to. Like War Eagle boats, I've never been around a War Eagle boat. I mean, I've seen them, you know, but I've never even been in one or anything like that. What's the advantage price? Well, I see it in October. 
Hawassi River or Hawassi. Tennessee Tennessee River's got bigger ones. Hawassi's got a lot more though, for sure. Do you still see those western windows? I'm sure some do. I don't think they're like uh, you know, trying to tune in, but some of them might be. I don't know. I mean, my I like I even go back to watch some of my videos sometimes. So I mean, I'm sure some of them do. Maybe not all of them. Favorite size weight for a Texas rig. Well, the one I was talking about for me flipping, I use a half ounce weight almost all the time. Almost constantly, I use a half ounce weight. On his way to the top, I appreciate it, man. I don't know if I am or not, but we're going to try anyways. I have fished Oconee. Oconee's another one of those lakes that has beat my tail, man. How do y'all keep picking those lakes? Oconee, I love St. Clair. Hate Oconee. Oco Oconee, they don't act right. They don't act right. Oconee is an area lake. You get in there and you catch a couple, you better pick it apart. St. Clair, you can run a pattern. So I like St. Clair a lot better. Sardis in May. I would like to go over there to Lake Sardis. It's not far from me at all. It's like an hour away. So there's a big terminal there. I would definitely show up. Should I pick you for fantasy fishing? Probably not. My luck has to run out any day now because all I've been doing is getting lucky. Uh, this one, for sure. I think so. I hope your GPA wasn't worse than mine. Her GPA is higher than my IQ. Spent any time with David Mullins. I have not. Never spoke to David. Uh, dude, catch them, though. Good dude. What boat sponsor would you like to have? Ranger. Ranger, why not? Now, they're, you know, they're at the apex. That's what I would like to have. I have fished Wheeler. I have did. You know, I, I had a – they came in fourth place in the high school state championship in Wheeler when I was in high school. Out of, like, 100 boats, I came in, like, fourth place on Wheeler. I want a frog in a shad spawn in May. So, pretty fun. I appreciate it, Marcus. He said, big fan of yours. Keep the good work. Awesome videos. I appreciate it, man. Definitely going to. You flip straight braid or use a fluoro leader. I don't like to use a fluoro leader, but I will use straight fluoro for flipping in wood, and I'll use braid for flipping in grass. I do not, through Billy said, use an EWG hook, so just use worm hook at all time. I do not use the EWG for anything except for a swim bait. I use round bend or a straight shank. I do not use EWGs. You ever seen loose reels? I've used them for just a minute or two, never for a ton. Favorite video is the Asian carp. Man, for whatever reason, the Asian carp video gets no love. I feel like it's the best video. It should have went viral. That video, I still watch it, and it cracks me up every time. Funny story you know of. That's, that's one for Hunter. Funny? Yeah, funny story you know of. Anything? Do you know Jacob Wheeler? I do know Jacob. Yes, very – dude catches them. Absolutely smashes them. Are you related to the Parkers or Norals? I am not related to the Parkers or Norals, uh, as far as I know, anyways. Hope they get Rookie of the Year. I hope I get Rookie of the Year, too, Robert. Thank you so much. Crazy how much your fan base and channel has grown. Yeah, it's uh, kind of surreal. I didn't know if I was going to get to 10000 but we did. How can I meet up and pay you to take me fishing? So I get that question a lot, and I do not guide, but we can meet up for sure. Ever talked to Rick Clun? I've not talked to Rick Clun. I've not fished Pickwick either, even though I am close. Greatest catch is sitting beside you. I agree. I definitely agree. That was, that was you. That was definitely. I thought that was designated for Hunter for sure, right? I'm her best catch. It's got to be. Hunter, what's the funniest thing you've ever seen called David? Got anything? Yeah, you fell down. So. I fell down. Yeah. Hmm. That wasn't on Lake Google on that video. Oh, I did. You I fell, fell down. The yep. I fell down for sure. Ever met Brandon Polnick? Yes, I have met Brandon Polnick. So whenever I was driving to Lake Cumberland one time, it was so cold and raining. My feet actually went numb while I was driving like 30 miles down the lake because I did not have the proper equipment because I did not have my striker gear back then. So driving down the lake, legs are absolutely numb as can be. Stand up after a 30 minute drive and my legs are just like numb. Bam, fall off the trolling motor, slam onto the front deck. How you like being an elite? It's pretty good, pretty good. They treat us pretty good. Bassmasters got it going on, you know. All the towns, they open up the doors for us, and they love us. So uh, it's very, very cool to, you know, be on the elites. Um, We're on lockdown, so. I'm going to tell you right now, it means I saw in bed over there today. Probably going to go back over there tomorrow. So I literally had my boat power pulled down, and I was looking at, like, Eight or ten over three pounds, and a few more two pounders swimming around in one spot. So I mean, they're they on bed so hardcore right now; it's crazy. Air fish for anything but bass. I do not try to. And once in a while, though, I will catch a crappie or catfish or carp or something. My has cruise not signed you to missile. Couldn't tell you. 
you prefer back in five over the numbers game the MLF does. I've never done the numbers, but I tell you, I do love catching five. I do for sure love catching five. Favorite lake in Georgia got to be Sinclair. Love that place. Always had good success over there. I actually qualified to go to the All-American from Lake Sinclair. So I love going over to Lake Sinclair. Going to frog with you at Glen Springs. I went to Glen Springs the other day, actually caught a bunch of fish. Caught 20 or 25 fish probably over there, but they were all mostly small. Caught someone a frog, though, actually. How do you improve your tournament skills with other than getting out fishing? Probably studying Google Maps. Studying Google Maps will help, but being out there fishing and seeing how the conditions change the fish, because that's what a tournament is. A tournament is not having a set game plan of going out there and executing it. A tournament is making decisions on the fly that are going to yield you the best possible results. So being on the water and seeing the conditions change and adapting yourself is the only way to get, get better at it and train your instincts. Biggest bass was hand one on the same hill. That was, yep. Biggest one ever. Hand one. What tournament situation do you want to improve or looking forward to improve when technique situation? So fishing long points or any kind of, you know, where I can't, you got to fish any kind of flat or big grass flat or anything like that where I can't see for sure where the fish is supposed to be living. I struggle with that kind of stuff. I really need to see the cover that I, you know, and the fish is living on, whether it be a grass edge, a dock, whatever it is, big expansive flats or super long points where the fish can kind of be anywhere. That's my weakness for sure. Do I favorite? Tell you that you can't go? No, absolutely not. Luckily for me, she does not. Favorite color speed crawl? Green pumpkin for sure. That's because I, my audio is not as good as because I'm quiet and Kyle yells at everything. We had the battery trouble at Santee Cooper where they changed that one to warranty. You had to pay for them. They were changed that one to warranty. Those batteries were just like two months old at the time. Uh, at Santee Cooper last year, you wasn't there for that one. But I had Optima batteries go bad. Took them to the interstate. So people that don't know, interstate and Optima batteries are the same company. I will so. answer your question. Maybe Hunter will answer some of my questions. They just say Hunter on the front yeah, and I'll let her talk for a yeah, while. I'll read it. When you qualified for the All-America, was out on your channel. That was not on my channel, but the uh, I think it was 2015. We had a BFL regional on St. Clair, and I went there, and I came in fifth place. I was actually leading after day one, struggled a bit on the third day, and didn't catch them too good. I throw the big brush hog. Hunter throws the baby brush hog, John. Hunter likes to dip the tail in chartreuse. I personally don't like to waste the time on screwing it and screwing it back up. Come fish with FOW Hunter Freeman. Never been to Louisiana, Ty, and uh, – I've been down. Actually, I did fish in Louisiana one time behind the casino, um, Lake Charles. There's a golf course beside all the casinos right there. Took a swim jig out there, caught a four pounder off the bank in the golf course pond. So pretty cool. Do you think flipping with your left hand, if you're right handed, is that important? It's not super important, but anything that does help you get more fish pitches throughout the day has to help. It has to add up. So for sure, it does help. How you made your – what made you run towards Robin on St. John's? You know, I, I caught some small fish in there in practice. And in the tournament, I was coming back and I had three fish in the box. And I just went in that little river to try to catch two more keepers real quick. And that's whenever I caught a dang 10-pounder and a three-and-a-half. So does your poker background help you calmly analyze the percentage of bass without too much motion? I think it does. Yes, I definitely does think it helps me be a lot more analytical. Come to Sarah and Harrison in C. I have heard good things about it. I go time to start at least right. Yeah, for sure. It has been, you know, a weird couple months, and I am excited to fish smallmouth for sure. We do on the TVA when they sh when they shut off current. I pretty much drive the struggle bus just like everybody else because it gets tough, especially postponed because fish love current. When they cut it, it gets super, super tough. Best thing to do, start dragging, dragging on rock piles and brush piles, stuff like that. Are you coming to Santee in April? The plan right now is to be at Santee in April. April 16th, I believe, is day one. So I know Hunter Freeman, he fishes tan, he catches giants. Well, I don't catch very many giants, so I don't want to get showed up too bad, but I definitely like to come fish a place where there are a bunch of giants. <clears throat> I definitely need some lithium batteries for sure. Wouldn't mind it. I would definitely like to have some lithium batteries. Me and Kyle have not fished that many. No, we have definitely not. We fish one night tournament and your favorite tournament with me has to be the day we went up to Hawassi and caught twenty pounds. No, that was awesome. Oh, you didn't like it? No. Boost culling three we, twos. We caught twenty pounds 
for like eight o'clock and like we had to keep those fish alive till four and it was like a hundred degrees. It was August. It was like so tough. scary. I thought all of our fish were gonna die. Yep. Classic walk up song. I have no idea. I might have to let y'all vote on that. What, I don't know. What does Hunter fix for your meals for nowadays? Um ham and cheese. He doesn't eat bread or like we kind of just eat like keto stuff. So ham and cheese, almonds. Cheese Whatever it takes. I was eating the Quest bars for a while too, but that's that's not super good for me. You. Yeah, they're definitely not good for you. Looking forward to seeing y'all, my favorite YouTube channel. I appreciate that. I appreciate you watching. I do appreciate that you do these more often. And don't I forget agree. to subscribe to my channel. Hunter's channel, Hunter's YouTube channel Hunter is Welcher. the deal. Thoughts on, Sabine River. Thoughts on the Sabine River from Matt Manning. I believe Sabine River is going to be a fun one. I hope we can actually catch some fish, but Sabine River is huge. I'm kind of scared of it, but I'm excited to go there. There's no doubt. Where'd you catch them on St. Clair? So the time I went there, I went... In the BFL Regional, I fished up the, I think it's called the Little River, and up the Oconee River. I fished up both. I had a, a very specific pattern about what type of docks I was targeting. I was skipping docks and throwing a frog around shade pockets. So, you know, I had a very specific pattern. I was running all over the entire lake, so I fished it all. We were fishing Gunnersville. Bread because it's bad for you. Yep. Oh, I love the taste of bread now. Don't get me wrong. I just don't, I don't eat it because it is bad for you. I have fished Gunnersville. It has beat my tail. I've actually won a bunch of tournaments on Gunnersville if they were smaller tournaments. What not do I use for straight braid application? The Palomar. Palomar or the Snail Knot. Don't eat bread, WTH. Bread definitely tastes good for sure, but it's not good for you. So when you were just starting, Pro fishing, did you have a big budget? I definitely did not have a big budget. I've never had a big budget my entire life, including right now. There's no doubt. You like throwing spinnerbaits with colored blades? I do. Yes, I do. I did. Caught some this year on the spinnerbait with colored blades for sure. Got some, got one tied on right now. I'm running for you all year. You're a triple going this long. Very fan friendly. Hope the sponsors notice the hard work. I appreciate that. Get them, Hammer. That's what everybody says. All the fishing guys. What's up, Hammer? We do not have fish. We do not. And I yes, I have fished the Coast River chain quite a bit. Yeah. Nicholas Bowman. Bowen. Bowen. That's my buddy. Favorite color frog. I had a pick just one to be a black one. But right now I'm like in the uh, spec color is is you know the coolest one for me to look at. But if I had to just throw one all year, it would be a black one for sure. Going fishing tomorrow. Yes, they are on bed. So I'm for sure going fishing tomorrow. Going to be at ICAST. The plan right now is for sure to be at ICAST. Zoom would definitely be a nice sponsor. You think flipping your left hand is that important? Right hand is that important? It is. Yes. If you can flip left handed whenever right handed, it does help. It gets you more bites. It gets you more, you know, cast off during the day. So, for sure. How do you throw a bait before you move on to a different bait? Uh, it just depends on the situation. Sometimes I can really feel that a bait's going to work, even if I don't get a bite in 30, 40 minutes. Sometimes I'll pick it up, make three casts, and I'm like, this ain't happening. So it's been, you know, it just kind of, you know, you make your own decisions throughout what you want to do with it. So we've been going for a dang hour. Right now, the closest lake to me is Herb Parsons, where I'm at over here. But, I mean, I – Fish all over the place. My home lake growing up is Lake Harding in Alabama. I saw that in the comments a little bit earlier. So not bad. Why is John Cruz not signing? Yeah, Couldn't tell you. Could not tell you. Talk about your experience on the FW Tour, lessons learned. Um, yeah, the main lesson I learned that year is get a little bit luckier. So I made some very bad mistakes that year fishing the tour. I also lost some extremely, extremely key fish that would have, you know, three different times. You know, I lost a fish to get $10,000 checks, and I'm not talking about one fish, it's like three fish, you know, all three times. So, yeah, I definitely could have made it work back then, but I did make a bunch of mistakes, and I did learn a lot for sure. Somebody asked about a sister. This is my brother, not sister. <laughs> he has long, beautiful hair. Lake Harding is awful for me. Well, that's because you suck, Matt. No, I'm just kidding. That's my little brother, Matt. He caught him today, I thought. He sent me some pictures today anyways. Do you think you will make the long about. run? If you're talking about as far as fishing goes, I hope so. I definitely hope so. Tell Ace I said hi. Winnie Burnett said hi, Ace. Before Kyle, I had like 
Uh, 19 subscribers, I think. 19. Which St. Clair are you yeah. referring to? I live. No, see, St. Clair is up north. Sinclair is in Georgia. Sinclair is the one I was talking about where I qualified for the All American is in Sinclair. So we do not live on Chick anymore. No, we do not live beside Chick. Ever lose, uh, use a Zoom speed worm? Yes, I've used it quite a bit. You think you make the long run on Sabine? I've been as far as the way it looks on Google Earth, I do believe I will make that long run. I'm thinking I want to go up towards Toledo Bend. That's the way it looks for me. That's what I think I would like to do up there. Favorite lake outside of Tennessee and Alabama. Santee Cooper. Got to be Santee Cooper. That place is awesome. I love it over there. Is Hunter going to fish the opens? I only have, I have 56 subs now. Are you going to fish the opens? Hey, there's 300 people in here. I need more than 56. <laughs> Are you going to fish the opens? Are you no. Fish the opens? No. Please edit your videos. I use this right here. No, nah, I'm just kidding. So, um, Adobe Pro. Premiere Pro. Yep. It's like $22 a month. Sign hat or jersey from you guys. My signature is so bad. If I sign anything, it will ruin whatever I sign. Kind of braid and floral. I use K9 braid and K9 floral. Never fish Altoona. Never have. Got a buddy of mine that lives right beside Altoona. I have never fished there though. I'm not even enough to get that. We think of pink lures. I, uh, I want to be famous on TikTok. Somebody said Connor will see me famous. Please help me. I really do want to be famous. On it's harder than it looks. You live 45 minutes away from Santee and Harley Fisher. You better get over there now, man. So how are we gonna pick how to give this do the shirt giveaway? Definitely very true. We need to do the shirt giveaway right now. Yeah, I see we got a comment in the back. I think we should get one. Okay. So can I pick him? You can pick whoever you want to pick. I want to pick Chris Ziegler. Chris, I think it's Ziegler. Chris Ziegler. So we're just letting Hunter pick it then. Sorry, I, I don't want this to seem too rigged, but Favorite I've color? A lot. I have to. I have Somebody to. Somebody said sure. if you get to 150 subs tonight, we'll go. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, you got to get to 150 subs and some sponsors, probably. Yeah, I need a sponsor and then I'll fish open. I also need a boat. So, Chris Ziegler, comment on here and, or email me, kdbrkw at gmail.com. Message me on Instagram, Facebook, whatever it is, and you got to pick one more. Chris Ziegler getting two shirts if you think that's okay with him. Mm -hmm. yeah. Kathy, one more person having a hard time sleeping night before a tournament begins to excite us that we're off. Um, I do get pretty excited before a tournament and I, I do have a hard time sleeping. So uh, it, it is kind of difficult to, sl to sleep before a tournament sometimes, but for the most part, you know, I, I have a hard time sleeping every night. So I do get to sleep pretty good bit. So it's not terrible. I usually get five or six hours. So many people want these shirts. Okay. You got to pick one. Just gonna have to pick. I subscribed to everything. 70k bass boat. I couldn't. I couldn't read the rest of that. Me, 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 me. <laughs> I don't know. Hold on. Okay, I'm being. Favorite I'm lake in Georgia, cool. Lake Sinclair. Get involved with the casting game with the Bassmaster Classic. I, I didn't want to go use their reels and try to beat them guys up with their own reels and their signatures. Baits. That would be a tough thing to do. Go bar somebody's rod, then beat them with that rod. Is it taking the fun out of it to be a pro? No. Definitely not. I still fish all the time. I fish off the bank. Who else you got? I'm thinking up north bassing. Up north bassing. If you're yeah, still here, question. same thing. Email me kdbrkw at gmail.com or message me on what, what is it? Instagram and Facebook. So we're giving away four shirts, but two people. What are we gonna give them? Let's do one person two shirts and not one person. Then the other two okay. All right. Whatever. Whatever you want to do. Let's see. Hunter is prettier than I am. I don't believe that for one second. So I don't believe that for one second. Come fish Nickajack again, Ron. Yeah, that was that was fun. We used to catch them over there, man. Caught them up big a couple of times. Email us kdubrkw at gmail.com. So how much sleep do I get in three practice days in the tournament? The practice days, I get almost no sleep. Tournament days are a lot better because you get off the water before dark. And usually I'm staying close to the ramp in practice days. I might drive an hour away and then, you know, put in somewhere, then drive an hour back the day in practice days. So I don't get a lot of sleep in the tournament. Boat ramp's usually 10 minutes away. We get off the water at 2 or 3 o'clock in the evening. So it's not bad. Hunter, I guess Hunter's taking it upon herself to do a different type of giveaway. So she got to, you want to pick one more person? No, you get to pick one. No, I'm not picking them. You got to pick them. I got to pick them. Yep. Okay. One more person. 
So Chris is getting two shirts up north of Bass and is getting one, and this next guy is getting one. See you looking, Hunter. Everybody sees you looking. How about the one who suggested doing the shirt giveaway? <laughs> right yeah, that's, that's just dirty, Andy. He's the one who said give the shirts away. Now it, hey. it sucks. Hey. Yeah, scroll back up. What made you move to Chickamauga? Hunter got a job there, and it's just such a good lake. Terms keep going back there. We was, we was. Grew up on Sabine. That's a sketchy run of basketball. I'm not going to go all the way. I'm just going to go a good ways, a pretty good ways up. I like the way it looks up there. And, you know, I like to fish current well, if there is any. Why don't I? Why don't you set the hook really hard? I used to. I used to a lot. But now I don't set the hook that hard anymore. I just try to reel all the slack out and set the hook. I feel like I stay in control better. When I set the hook super hard, I would always catch myself out of position a ton. So I didn't do it. I stopped doing it or tried to at least. Hunter's channel will be huge. I agree. She's probably going to pass me very, very soon. <laughs> Won't take long. Yes, we did meet in kindergarten. That was for sure. A lot of set of striker gear after seeing you in them. Awesome. That's very, very cool. What blanks do I use to build my own rods? I use point blank blanks. So very, very cool. Who are you picking? You got to pick somebody else. Have to separate the giveaway videos from Q&A. Sorry if you ought to come to CNT Cooper. Ready for to see that video. That would be cool. Hopefully we'll be able to catch some. Hopefully we'll catch some on a little short floating hollow deal that I like to throw around sometimes. Best fishing memory. Well, one time I caught a 10 pounder in an elite event and that was pretty dang hard to beat for sure. Okay, I picked Hunter. Who you picked? David Miller. Dave Miller. David Dave, Miller. David Miller. Okay. You also have to email, comment your email or else message me on Instagram or Facebook. I appreciate it guys. How come Hunter? I mean, is it not obvious? Is it not obvious? The recipe for TikTok is pretty much don't be a dude. So, yeah, that's exactly why. No, I just worked hard on my I only fished Santee Cooper one week. I fished it probably five or six days. That's the only time I was all I've ever fished it. So, you need a Kyle series bait. I agree. I agree. Probably a skipping jig. That's what I am most excited about. So, I want to make a skipping jig for sure. What her think about the bass having an article on her by bass? The article on you from Bass. What, what do you think about it? What did I think about it? Um, I thought it was very precious. And I, I had no idea people were taking pictures of me and stuff while I was crying. So I just thought I didn't look super ugly in any of the pictures. I saw you eyeballing those tundras. Think you'll get one for bonus books? Uh, probably not. Probably not. I would like to have one, but them suckers are very, very expensive. Hey, at least you don't. I agree. You cannot get famous dancing on TikToks because, like, everybody does it. Too many people do it. Different. Too many people do it. What's Hunter's channel? Hunter Welcher. Hunter Welcher. That's it. How are you making it financially? We fishing for a living. We fishing. Tournaments. They give out checks. 9K Elite Lures. I will check them out. I will I will go look. I will definitely go look. You done? You ready to get off here? We got – we'll go till – Two more minutes, 115. So two more minutes. Hunter Welcher. What kind of skipping jig? Ball header arky. It's going to be a kind of a modified arky. It's going to be a modified arky. Is what I want to make. I did think nobody would tune in. 300 was better than I thought. Am I still using K9? Yes. Head case baits. I am still using K9 for sure. It's my buddy over there. Got to pay for your boat. Absolutely. I have to pay for my boat. There's no doubt. Favorite lady to catch crappy? I have no idea. I have no idea. Hunter could be the first professional woman ever. I'd like to see it. I would definitely like to see it. How much you meant to Hunter when I got that big one on St. John's? Yeah, for sure. Very, very cool for see it all come together like that. Are you selling your boat again in the season? Yes, I am selling my boat. Worst hotel experience. So basically, we've had a bunch of hotels that when you walk in, just smell so much like dog and cigarette smoke. We just have to request a different room or have to go to a different hotel. So I don't stay in hotels that smell like dog or cigarettes. So definitely dogs and cigarettes are, you know, not good. I don't like staying around that. My email is kdubrkw at gmail.com. The winner was Chris Zettler, David Miller, and Up North Bassin. Smallmouth tournaments are coming up, Tim. They definitely are. I'm excited about them. going to be a different thing for me, but I am excited to do it. 
Strike your t-shirt or a t-shirt? Yep. Striker t-shirt, just go to strikergear.com. Favorite smallmouth bait, it's got to be drop shot. It's all I've ever threw drop shot in the Kitex. I don't think I've ever really caught them on, but I do like throwing throw that dang Kitex and catch some smallmouth on. That's pretty, that's probably the best thing. Thanks for your time tonight. Best luck in the future. I appreciate it, man. This live for me was a little bit different. Never done a live before. Hopefully I didn't look like too much of a dumb redneck for sure. Had fun sharing the channel with you. I appreciate it. Any more questions? Any more questions? They come in right now and answer them. Other than that, we're getting on. Three, three, three more questions? Yeah. Great Q&A. Nice job. Mike, that's the guy from Striker right there. Y'all tell him thank you in the comments. Hey, Mike. Everybody got a shirt. Got to make a Santee video. And hopefully, I'll make a bunch of Santee videos all the way to like day three and day four videos of the tournament. That will be what we need to do. Have some day three and day four tournament videos for sure. How about you? Nobody's asking. They just like my accent. Like yeah, it, I tell you, I talk so fast, it just runs together for sure. Roughest water. So last year on O'Neill, yeah. I was in four and a half, five foot, probably four, four and a half foot waves. I've been in four, four and a half foot waves a ton on a bunch of different lakes, but that's about, I'm, I don't think I've ever been anything five or six foot. I've been in a bunch of four, four and a half. So good luck on the tour. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank y'all. Cool. Everybody saying good luck. And if Brittany's still on here, hey, Brittany. All Hunters friends, check it on. Make my own t-shirts. Definitely looking into it right now. We're looking into it for sure. Trying to get some t-shirts made. David Miller, that's the guy? Yeah. All right, David Miller, you want you a shirt? Was low down on Kentucky Lake right now? I don't have a clue. I don't have a clue, but I, I would wear a helmet if I went there because the carp would jump in your lap. Mike, if you're still on, I don't want to because of the weather. Yeah, Oneida was terrible last year. The Cubs Anglers was having a rough time. Day three, it actually got worse than day two. It was rough out there day three of the Bass Open last year on Oneida. It was terrible. When I ran to the other end of the lake, it went a little creek. So appreciate you guys watching. Everybody that watched and commented, I appreciate it. Thank you all so much. When you scream, my girl, that car would shake my head. Hey, I would do it all over again if another one jumps in my lap, too. Them things are disgusting. They bleed and crap everywhere. So next live, I don't know. We will keep you all posted, though. So if you got the notifications for this one, you'll get the notifications for the next one. So appreciate you guys watching. I will see you all. Appreciate it, guys. How do you seem to know what to do with these fish drinks? It just depends on the lake. Uh, when I get to a lake, I, I try to stay open-minded and then just react to the conditions I am given. So that's what I'm going to do. Are you saving this live? Yes, we are going to save this, I guess. Are we going to? We don't know what we're doing. We're just kind of going through life just like, oh, whatever. We don't know what we're doing. Appreciate you guys watching. See y'all.